everyone. My name is Samantha Coolish Fargione, and I am the Executive Director here at the Weston Historical Society. Thanks for joining us for another History from Home Kids Corner video. Don't forget, at the end of the video, you can download a fun activity on our website, westonhistoricalsociety.org. You can find it on the History from Home Kids Corner page. I have something special to share with you today. Did you know that Weston had a toy factory? Way back at the beginning of the 1900s, a little over 100 years ago. This is a picture of the toy factory and it used to be located in an area of Weston known as Aspatuck Corners because it was very close to the Aspatuck River. Before this became a toy factory, it was a wood turning factory where people would create wooden handles for tools such as hammers and axes. It was also a cider mill where people would crush apples and make apple cider. It was a general store, a post office, but it was most famous for being a toy factory. A man named Burton Merwin owned the toy factory. You see, Burton liked making wooden toys for his children. And one day, a friend of his encouraged him to start making toys and selling them in and around Weston. And so the Weston Toy Factory began. Burton started the factory in the early 1900s and ran the factory until about 1935. Here at the Weston Historical Society, we have some of the toys that were made in the Weston Toy Factory. Here are some of the toys that were made at the Weston Toy Factory. The first two that I want to show you are these two up here. This is a rabbit and this is a horse-drawn cart. Now the special thing about these two toys is that they had a mechanical wheel underneath them. I'm going to show you what that looks like. You see it right there? Now this special mechanical wheel was actually invented by Burton Merwin. And this wheel helped the toys to zoom across the floor. Similar to the race cars that you might have, where if you pull back on them and let go, they fly across the floor. Well, these worked in a similar way. Now, because they're very old and I wouldn't want them to break, I can't show you how they worked. Uh, but you can use your imagination as to how they would move quickly along the floor. Now, these two toys were part of the Weston Toy Factory's boxing series. This one, what you do is you press down on this wooden button and it looks like this little man is hitting a punching bag. This toy works in the same way, but when you press down, it looks like the two men are fighting in a boxing ring. Let's take a closer look at some of these toys. I want to draw your attention to the faces. Look at the face on the man in the horse cart. Or the faces of these two fighters. How do you think Burton Merwin made the faces? Do you think he painted them on? Do you think he used a special marker? Or did he use a rubber stamp? Did he stamp the faces on the wooden cutouts? Well, if you guessed stamp, you are correct. Here at the Weston Historical Society, we have some of the stamps that Burton Merwin used to create his toys. 
The first stamp that I'd like to show you is a rubber stamp. And as you can see, there are two faces on it. So these stamps were used to create the faces on some of his toys. Just like one here. This is another stamp. It's in the shape of a shoe. Once again, Burton would use these stamps to create the shoes on his toys. And lastly, look at this stamp. It looks just like a little person. Well, Burton would take the stamp, press it on a piece of wood to create the outline of the toy. He then would use his saw to cut on the line and cut out the toys. Have you ever used stamps to decorate a card or a picture for someone? If not, now's your chance to do it. Now, if you don't have a stamp or stamps at home, don't worry, you can always make your own stamps. All you need to do is download our stamp making activity. You can find a link to it in the show notes or you can visit our website, westonhistoricalsociety.org. It's under the History From Home Kids Corner page. Don't forget to take photos. We'd love to see the stamps you created. You can share them with us on Facebook or you can send them to us by email. Info at westonhistoricalsociety.org. See you next time for another History from Home Kids Corner video.